Hi, I'm Rich with RLR, Riding Schools, and, um, uh, and um, uh, I just want to talk to you today about levers, lever position and stuff like that. You know, um, it's funny because I always think old school because all the kids, you know, when they come to school, a lot of times the new age thing or new thing, I guess because they just see other people doing it, is levers flat and level the ground. My opinion of this is I'd rather have my levers down a little bit so that I can maintain that better um, arm position, attack position as people like to call it. Um, so my levers are positioned slightly down just a little bit. They're not level with the ground. Um, a lot of times if they were level with the ground, if you can see, um, a lot of times that would bring my elbow down. Elbows down, you don't have as much control or leverage over the handlebars as you do with your elbows up. So you almost want like a flow from, and I, I'm using my middle fingers because I use my middle fingers on my clutch lever and my front brake lever. So there should be a flow from your fingertip when it's extended out, hovering over the lever, lever, clutch lever, which it should be all the time, um, and all the way to my elbow. If I was to, let's just say, you know, put my lever level to the ground, a lot of times level to the ground, okay, and then I hold my elbow up, there's going to be a pinch, I'm sorry, a pinch, a kink in my elbow. This kink in my elbow is uncomfortable, okay? So what's just going to happen is just, my elbow is just going to drop. So there's no kink in my um, wrist anymore. Did I say kink in my elbow? I did, didn't I? <laughs> so if my lever is level to the ground, okay, it's going to force my hand flat and level to the ground, my palms flat and level to the ground, okay? And therefore, if I was to try and just keep my elbow up, it's uncomfortable. Okay, because there's a kink in my wrist. So therefore, you have to drop your lever down so you can just maintain that straight flow from your fingertips all the way to your elbow. Okay, so same thing. I don't hover or cover the front brake. I, I use the throttle and then as I'm letting off, I go and reach for the front brake. Um, but the same thing, you know, I see a lot of guys who cut their bars too narrow and there's no room for the levers and one, one lever's up here and one lever's down and all that. You know, if you're going to, in my opinion, you, you shouldn't need to cut your bars that much. I only cut a quarter inch off each side, and I don't run hand guards, so I have that much more clearance. Um, but you should make sure you don't cut too much off so that your levers aren't, you know, in you know hindrance or having issues with your levers being <clears throat> at the same level on both sides, which in, I run slightly down. So I can keep that attack position. And it's actually even easier and, and better or also when you go to stand. When you go to stand, you can still maintain an attack position. A lot of times when a guy has levers that are flat and level to the ground, he's also that guy who stands crouched all the time and he don't stand for very long because his, his palms are flat to the ground, level to the ground, because his levers are straight out. <clears throat> so therefore his forearms are level with the ground, therefore he just stands crouched and I know 9 times out of 10 he's very uncomfortable when he's standing in this position and your legs get tired after about 2 minutes of standing like this. So you always want to maintain that good posture, good attack position and a lot of things just by lowering your levers is very important to maintain a good attack position. So something to think about with your levers. <clears throat> Alright, this is uh, Rich with RLR and um, that's my lever positioning tip. Thanks, and uh, y'all have a good night. Hi, I'm Rich with RLL. RL, uh. <laughs>